Greetings. This is Kimberly from Dreams to Travel, your favorite travel specialist. And I am here to share another video with the Travel Joy. Um, I haven't done any in a while and I wanted to come back on. Um, been super busy with a whole lot of things in my personal and professional life. Um, other than travel, been booking travel as well, and that has kept me busy too. But um, I wanted to come on and share. So I am going to start sharing my screen. And we are going to talk about today the travel joy invoices. So I don't know how many of you have um wondered about the travel joy invoices, how to get your clients to either pay either you or the supplier, you know, how that goes, but just creating that invoice. So I want to show you just how to create your invoice today so that you can kind of figure that part out and send that to your clients. Um, I do have a research uh, fee uh, that I uh, impose, I guess that's a good word, but impose on my clients so that, um, you know, I can just make sure that we are using our time wisely. So with that, I wanted to share um, how I create that invoice for a client and then send that to them. So let's get started. So over here, I'm going to go over on the left-hand side with our menu options, and I'm going to go under templates first. And right down here where you see invoices, Travel Joy actually does have some default invoices, and then you can actually create your own as well. So with that, um, there are some, if you see the word default, that means that is inherent or it came with Travel Joy. However, you do have the option of creating your own. And I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit to show you what I have done as far as creating um, an invoice. So here I have called it the research service fee. So I have to notice that there is one that is, you know, for everyone. Um, so that's my $50 research fee. But then I also have one for family and friends and I just do have price um, of that. So I do $25. Um, again, just to uh, make sure that I'm weaning out those uh, tire kickers, you know, the look looky loos, things of that nature, but just making sure that um, I am valuing my time. And so my clients need to value my time. So to add an invoice, you can click over here and you can create um, an invoice item or if there's one that you see that you like, if you look in here and you see one for, let's say, the insurance, and you want to look at it, you can click on it. You see what it has in here. And you say, okay, you know what? I want to create my own and add to it. So I'm going to cancel this out. If it cancels, all right, so cancel that out and then bring back up the invoices and you can copy that. So if you hit the word copy or this little icon of copy, you can copy it and then create your own. You can make it your own. So you can take this part out and just say, I'm going to call it my dreams to travel insurance. And then from there, you can create your own and it'll be in there as your own template. So let's look at it and see. See right here where it doesn't have default there. I can go in, put whatever description that I want to, whatever charge that I want to add to it. So all of that you can add to it. 
And that's what I did with this research fee. I created that um, that way. But let's take a look at this research fee invoice. So with this, I again said, what am I gonna call it? So it's going to be the research fee. And in the description, it just lets the client know that, hey, this is for you. This is a service that I provide. This is the cost. And then the client name will come up. We can populate that. And then the date will pop up. We can populate that. So that's what it looks like on the inside. So let's see what and how this is going to operate for a client. So let's go through and we're gonna find, just gonna use myself again and go from here. So now this is um, a trip. I use this as my tester. So this is a trip that I have created. And I now am going to click on the blue button over here on the right-hand side. Notice that there are several options here. And what I want to do is I want to use the invoice. Again, if you've seen any of my other videos, then you know that there's a difference between direct and between supplier. So direct means that that money is going to come directly to you. Supplier means that you, the client is giving you the authorization to use their financial information. So what we wanna do is we want to create a direct invoice. So Travel Joy says, hey, are you sure this is what you want to do? Make sure that um, you have the appropriate membership to be able to authorize the uh, payment. And yes, I do. So I am, yes, I am sure. So now we're going to create this invoice. So with that, you're gonna add the item <clears throat> and it could be for an excursion. It could be for what I'm getting ready to do with the service fee. It could be for a deposit. So you can create what you want it for. Again, you're gonna add the item with the blue button. It's going to ask you to select from the down menu. It's gonna give you that same, those same options that you saw when we went into the invoice template area. So now I'm going to search for my research service fee. So that's the one I'm going to select. So again, it pops up, it gives you that information in here. It shows you what we had before. It gives you the number, it tells you the cost, and then I am going to populate it with the date. So the invoice is going to show today's date. And then from here, now it shows the description. So scrolling down, we do want to do the direct method. We want it to go straight to the bank account. Um, Travel Joy does have that group funding, but we don't want it to go there. We want it to go directly to me because this is the research fee. The invoice name, we're gonna call it the travel research service fee. And it gives you two options right here where, where the client can either pay by credit card, by bank transfer, or by one or the other. So we're gonna give the client the option to choose whether they're gonna use the credit card or whether they're going to use the bank transfer. We're not gonna select for them, they can do it. With Travel Joy, there is a processing fee. Um, it is a little higher if the client uses the credit card but the client will be able to see that information so they can choose whether they want to do the credit card option with the uh, higher processing fee or the bank transfer which with the lower transfer uh, transactional fee. And right here, this is exactly what I was talking about. 
Um, we want that box checked because we want the client to pay that fee. If not, then it will come out of our funds. So we want them to um, uh, pay that fee. All right. And so now, like I said, the client name will populate. There is an invoice com uh, confirmation. And again, that's under the templates as well. Um, that automatically pops up. Terms and conditions. Um, again, you see the default there, and that is through Travel Joy, but I have my own terms and conditions. So I am going to populate that in there. And then the last part is we want to add the payment. This is very important because the, the top and the bottom, and I'll go back up there in just a moment, the top and the bottom need to match. So what we added up here, as far as the item and the description, that needs to match here as far as the payment schedule. So notice that it does. And the total is $50 um, owed and $50 that needs to be paid. So once you're kind of satisfied, you've added all of the information that needs to be on your invoice and you can add multiple things. Notice that there's that plus button over here to the right down here at the bottom and the plus button up here at the top. You can add multiple items if you need to add a rental car, if you need to add, um, like I said, the insurance, you can add those items. But again, what's here on top needs to match what is on the bottom. So ours match. So we're going to do a preview of the what it looks like. So this is what your client will see. So now it has your information, your business. It has your client name, their email, and the status of the invoice. It has the description of your invoice. And notice that this is the convenience fee. So right here, um, it totals out to a $2.12 convenience fee. Here it shows where the client can make the payment. And notice this is what I was saying. If you allow the client to make the option how they want to pay, then if they do it by bank transfer, they save just a little bit, um, but you still receive your fee and then they are still paying that convenience fee. Um, here are the terms and conditions. And once they complete that, they submit to pay. So now that you've seen the preview and you say, hey, okay, that is, um, looks good. That's how I want it to look for the client. Then you can hit next. And then it says pay on the client's behalf. No, you don't want to do that. You want to save and review the, the email because again, you want to go in here and you want to um, tweak it. Now, Travel Joy will have its own information in here so you can change the subject. And I'm going to call it the Travel Research Invoice. And I'm also going to change the language in here. and add my own little twist. All right, oh, I may not put that in there. But anyway, this is just for an example. So um, so we won't put that part in there. But you can type anything in there that you need that you think that the client will, of course, need for information purposes. 
And then after you look over everything, you review, make sure that there are no grammatical or spelling errors, then you can say, hey, okay, now I'm going to hit the send button and it's going to go to your client. I'm not going to send this because this is me and I don't want to generate um, an invoice um, that shows up on here. All right. So that is pretty much it. Um, I hope this helps you out in figuring out how to use the invoice portion of Travel Joy. I will come back on and do some other videos. Again, please like and share and subscribe to the channel. And once that bell comes up, please click on the bell so that you can be aware of any new videos that come as soon as we put them out. This has been Kimberly with Dreams to Travel your favorite travel specialist. And in the meantime and in between time, keep on dreaming. Thank you and we will see you later.